If your ultrawave excess will not turn on and the dial's not illuminating, make sure that it is plugged in both into the back of the unit and into the wall socket. Once you've confirmed your ultrawave excess is plugged in, make sure that the dial is in the on position. That can be verified by an audible click and the illumination of the dial. Another possible reason your unit will not turn on is a blown power connector fuse. You can check these fuses and change them yourself. See section 7.2.1 of the IFU for directions on how to change the fuse. To change the fuse, turn the dial to the off position and remove the water tank to avoid spillage. Unplug the power cord from the unit. The external fuses are located in a small compartment below where the power cord plugs into the base unit. To release the fuse holder, using a small flathead screwdriver, push down and out on the plastic clip. This will release the fuse holder. Slide the holder out and replace the fuses. Then, Slide the fuse holder back into place until you hear an audible click. Reattach the power cord and check that power is coming to the unit. If your ultrawave excess is not working, make sure there is not a problem with the outlet itself. You can do this by simply plugging in a different electrical device into the same outlet to see if it works. You can also move the ultrawave excess to another room and test it in an outlet there. If the ultrawave excess does not work, there's a chance it could have blown an internal fuse. In that situation, please call customer service at 800-552-5512. Any attempt to access the internal workings of the ultrawave excess will void the warranty.